It costed only 15 euros, so I go on to another city 150 kilometers away for this iMac 2008, not only to tell you what is it capable of in 2023, but also to show you how these and newer models can be used as an external multifunctional device for your main PC. This video will be unique, so have a nice watch. Briefly about its technical specifications, 4GB of RAM, Core 2 Duo and 1TB HDD, which means that this Mac was upgraded. Using Butcher I also installed unsupported macOS Mojave, and I wanna say that I haven't seen any loss in performance compared to macOS 10.11, which is the latest one available for this Mac. Let's see what this thing can do as a separate device and only then we will make it a perfect friend of our main PC. Let's click on YouTube and yes, it's not fast, what did you expect from the machine from 2008? But it's not that slow actually, as I expected it to be. Wait, what the hell? When it comes to 720p videos, it's not a problem for this device, but when it comes to Full HD video, which is 60 frames per second, that becomes a real challenge for it. But in total, the performance, in my opinion, is acceptable, I guess if I would install here Windows, I would still get higher performance. There are not lots of apps available in App Store, but all I need is Telegram and it is present there. When it comes to gaming, the situation is even worse, Left 4 Dead is logging as hell. Half-Life 2 on minimal preset is also lagging. Why does this thing don't run properly? Well, it runs properly if you will accelerate the game two times, because for some reason it slowed down by two times. Also check the user interface. Yes, this thing is certainly not about games. It has bad built-in mic and camera, but it works and it's enough for zoom for example, so you can start with this thing, in theory. Okay, I guess it's time, time for the exclusive part of this video. Something I haven't found on YouTube, maybe it exists, but I just haven't found this. How to make this thing as useful for your main PC as it's possible. First of all, which is the first thing uh, you got in your mind, and I got too, is to use it as a second screen. And the most popular thing, which I used in my previous video, which I actually use sometimes, is Space Desk, but here it's only available in browser, and as you can see, it works just awful. Also, spoiler, if you just need to put there a document which will stay still, it is the best thing in terms of quality. There is a partitional solution for this problem. Using some special programs, you can create a virtual screen on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 PC and to stream it using Discord. The quality will be bad, the latency will be visible, but unfortunately for this current model of iMac, that is the best solution. For newer models, Space Desk should work much better. Using this thing as a second screen is not new idea, but what if I will tell you that you also can use built-in speakers? They are pretty loud, the quality is great even in 2020, so I really wanted to find a solution how to make them working on Windows and I made them working from Windows. There are actually two ways. A very easy one, but not fully functional, and the not easy one, but fully functional. Let's start with the easy one, you can just stream from Discord the web browser from which the sound will go directly to your iMac. It is possible, but we also can use OBS program and stream to VLC program, uh, which is just a player, uh, the sound from your PC. There will be some delay, but it will work. And it will work for some podcasts, music, or something like that. Fine. Very easily make it usable with a few simple upgrades. For one, iMacs of this era are very easy to open up, unlike modern. Because of this thing has one terabyte HDD, I decided to use it too and created shared folder, which is available using Wi-Fi in my local network. It's actually very easy to do. I spent around five minutes. There are tons of guides about this in the internet. That is a huge step forward after the iMac 2006, by the way, check the video about it, if you watch till this moment, you might like that one too. For 15 euros, I guess this was amazing deal. Despite of the fact it has problems with metrics, you probably already saw some of those tricks, and it hasn't its full brightness. But come on, for 15 euros, I cannot complain. I definitely can recommend this thing for purchase, if you find one for a good price, it will be amazing. But don't expect uh, such old models to work good with your computer, you saw the performance today. But as a separate multimedia device, it's a great thing. Remember that the newer model you're getting, the more options you will have, and if you will install Windows or Linux, you will also have much more options than I had today in this video. 
Watch my previous video about iMac, subscribe on this channel, that is very important for you to press like under this video and comment it, goodbye.